All right, since I know that most of you are not ready for war problems, that's why we're not going to jump into war problems just yet. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. We're just going to talk about certain phrases, and I want to see if you know how to translate them correctly. If you see the words that say some or more than, what are you doing? Adding. You know that there's addition going on, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm talking about the word difference, or if I use the phrase less than, what am I talking about? Subtraction. Talking about subtraction. If I see product, or I'm talking about the word times, that should be easy enough that we're talking about multiplication. Now make sure that if you're using multiplication, if I use this symbol right here, uh, use make sure that there's a distinction, a distinction in your handwriting from the multiplication symbol x and your variable x. You'll see that I try to make my x's more script-like so they stand out. That's why I typically use the raised dot for multiplication. If I see the word quotient, what am I talking about? Division. Division. Now, you're going to see that with these main four words right here, sum, difference, product, and quotient, you will also see the word and that goes along with them. And is going to be tied to using one of these four main operators. Do not think that the word and means addition. When you do that, you will fail. And unfortunately, I'll be there degraded. And is used with each of these main four operator words. So if I'm talking about the difference of something and something else, the and is where your symbol goes. If I'm talking about the sum of this and of that, and is where the addition goes. Are you with me? Some other key words that you need to know. Amounts, is, is the same as, equals. How would you translate that? Just say it. You know what it is. Equals, right? I mean, shouldn't equals translate as equals? I'm not trying to mess with you. What if I say the number, some number, the missing or unknown number? What are you going to write? X, you may write N, you may write A. It's just a variable, right? It's the thing you don't know. And if you don't know the value, you let a variable represent its place. Then you can set up an equation that, will, and that you can solve. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to write some sentences or some phrases for you. And your job will be to translate them into the algebraic expression. So you're going to go from words to the expression. So if I say some number plus 17, what's the easiest way that you can translate that guy as an algebraic expression? Right, some number is represented by x plus 17. That's all there is. Right? Okay. What if I were to say this? The sum of a number the sum of a number and 10. Now, I want, to, I want to be careful here. What's the first math word we see? Sum. 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 I see the word sum right here. Do you all agree? Now, 
when I see a word that's one of those main four operators, sum, difference, product, quotient, the next word I need to find is and. So here's and right here. So the and is going to be my addition, because that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the sum, so that's addition. Okay? So what two things am I adding here? What's the first part of the sum? Number. The number, what's the second part? Ten. So it's x plus 10. That just looks horrible because I've got that minus. In. I thought you said that and was never addition. No, I said you cannot say that and is always addition. Okay, so it is, but not always. If you're, it's used with the word sum to indicate addition. If it's with the difference, it indicates subtraction. I like if I were to say this, the next guy, if I say the difference, The difference of a number and eight. What's the first math word you see? I see the word difference, which means subtraction, right? But your placement of the word subtraction happens when you see the word and. So the difference, right, before the word and you see a number. After the word and, you see eight. So here's the difference of a number and eight. Can I write that backwards and say eight minus x and still be okay? Yes. No. Subtraction is not commutative. Order is very important. Is that okay for you guys? Can you put negative eight plus x? That is the same thing as saying negative 8 plus x, but you really want to kind of go in the order that's there. Later on, if you need to rearrange, you could say negative 8 plus x if that is helpful for simplifying and for solving. Okay? There's no sense in making things more difficult than they, need it, than they already are. If I say 5 more than some number, The key phrase here, when we're reading this, is more than. X plus five. Say again? X plus five. Right, and I'm glad you said in that order, x plus 5. Because when we see 5 more than, that means you are adding 5 to something, right? To what are we adding 5? We're adding that to some number. Do you all agree? But is it with addition, it doesn't really matter what order it comes in? Right, you could say this, you could also say 5 plus x, but Mariah, this is why I want us to be able to read this and understand what it means, that 5 more than means I'm adding 5 to something. Because if I were to say less than, then I'm talking about subtraction, the order is super important, right? And if we don't train ourselves to see those phrases more than and less than in a particular order, we will make mistakes. So if I were to say this, 7, 7 less than some number. So I have a phrase very similar to the last one where it says less than. The last one said more than. So it makes me feel like they're kind of similar, right? What does it mean to be 7 less than? Right, it means I'm short 7. That means I've taken 7 away from it, right? Minus 7. So you've taken 7 away from x. Like if I were to say, you have, s Crystal, you have $7 less than me. Now, if you knew how much money I had, you could take 7 away from that to get your money, right? But could I say 7 minus my money? What if I've got a 20 on me? If I have $20 on me and you have $7 less than me, how much money do you have? 20, 19, I'm kidding. <laughs> you have 20 minus 7, which is 13, 13 right? Yeah. You don't say 7 minus 20, do you? No. No, you got negative $13 on you? We would hope not. 
Well, if you got a credit card, you do. But <laughs> we're, we're not. But that's not what we're looking at. So we have to make sure the word order makes sense. If I say you have five dollars more than me, I've got twenty. I have twenty-five. You have twenty-five because you did twenty plus five, right? Mm -hmm. Do you understand the word order there? <coughs> the word order is going to be key for all of these guys that we do. Translating from the expression, uh, from the phrase to the algebraic expression. You get one little thing wrong, goodbye. <laughs>